It's the She's a Great Lady Stakes Final. Here they come. Good looking start. Off and pacing. And McNair activates Caviar Tavia as she drills her way to the front. A step leading out of there for Railhorse wins. Sun Tierra kept a task, but a costly mistake for her nonetheless as she plummets to last. Sweeping up in the center, Charleston now. Outside of her, Sylvia Hanover. In at the railway, fourth is front page story. Drop down to the inside, fifth is Proud Mary. Sixth away as they make their way to the quarter marker. Treacherous Penny then wins Sun Tierra. And horizontal and cheesy smile. A 27-2 opening post, and they're into the backstretch. On that lead, it is Charleston. Under pressure as Sylvia Hanover chased along by McClure on the outside to go by. So Dunn at the inside has stretched out McClure somewhat here with Sylvia Hanover. She had to work harder to get to the lead tonight. She's on top of length. Back into second goes Charleston now. Caviar to be a third front page story. Fourth, fifth outside. Tips out Proud Mary. Tietrich's body language says he'd like to get some cover. Can't get it at this point. Miller Seesong on front page story and at the rail fourth on cover fifth outside. Here drives treacherous Penny. Halftime just 56 and three. And that could be the difference maker Sylvia Hanover got a cheap second quarter and she leads them into the final three eighths of the mile Charleston is second proud Mary's first up third caviar to via buried at the rail fourth fifth on cover now treacherous penny she looks good out there from in fifth sixth inside to front page story tracking cover seventh overland there's horizontal cheesy smile and wins Sun Tierra three quarters of 125 and two and as they spin for home Sylvia Hanover she's under attack outside comes Charleston proud Mary three deep caviar Art Devi is in behind them. Rolling up off cover now from the backfield. Treacherous Penny. Sylvia Hanover, though, she's got another gear. And she's on top of length. Charleston on the outside. She'll take one late crack at her. But it's Sylvia Hanover to win the She's a Great Lady by a full length. Sylvia Hanover in 151 and 4. We are set for a start. It's the Metro Pace. They're off and pacing in a good beginning outside. Ace of Aces leaving out of there. Ticker tape Hanover gets airborne early for Dunn. Down the center, Save America third. The inside trip early for Stockade Sealster as Jamison tries to get him to rate from back and forth. Fifth inside to hunt in the last dollar. Further back we go to find. Tip top cat. Field is on its way to the quarter. In the backfield we have Moment is here being tracked by Ants Marching. Final two in the group are Captain Batboy and Gung Ho. The quarter is 27 and 4. And it's roll time for Save America as he's on the move out of third. And Stockade Sealster is going to quickly travel up fourth outside to engage that one in backstretch battle. Save America, the leader up to three. It's as they step along on the way to the half. Stockade Sealster is going to split on through here. Save America is up in the center of the racetrack for Jingra. It's Save America trying to get it together on the way to the midway point. He does in 55 and 1. Back into second, Stockade Sealster, ticker tape, Hanover, Ace of Aces. Then it's back inside to Hunt in the last dollar. Two and a half back to Tip Top Cat. Moment is here, tracked in the backfield by Ants Marching. Final two are Captain Batboy and Gung Ho. Three eighths of a mile to go. And out of gear on the turn there for a couple strides went Tip Top Cat. They go to three quarters. And on that lead, still Save America. Tracked in second by Stockade Sealster. Three quarters. Quarters in 123 and they spin home. And it's Save America on the lead. Stockade Sealster pulls pocket and goes on the attack. Here to the outside, closing up now comes Ticker Tape Hanover. Deep stretch. Save America needs more. Outside, Stockade Sealster. He's surging. Stockade Sealster on the outside is coming on and coming by. And it's a Metro pace score for Stockade Sealster as he rebounds with a 150 and 1 triumph for Jamison and Moore. Here they come. They are up. And not a surprise as Ponda Adventure is moving out for the lead. Cool Papa Bell from the outside comes on now and will be second. Delgado is third. And then it's Swan Captain and the winner take it all is the trailer. As the five some move on to the first turn and the two favorites are going to engage right away. Ponda Adventure on the inside. Cool Papa Bell parked on the outside is second. Delgado is next in third. And then a length and a half back to fourth and Swan Captain. The winner take it all is the trailer. Opening quarter 27 and two and they're Goes the Hamiltonian winner up to take the lead. Cool Papa Bell is now in front. Ponda Adventure is back to second. Delgado is third. And then it is Swan Captain with the winner take it all. 
They are approaching the half mile mark and Cool Papa Bell and Todd McCarthy have the lead by a length. Panda Adventure pocketed second with Delgado third. And then it is Swan Captain and the winner take it all. The half was 57 and one. On to the far turn they race. Cool Papa Bell, three to five and leading the way. Ponda Adventure, four to five and in pursuit. Delgado is third, then Swan Captain and the winner take it all. Moving around the far turn, Cool Papa Bell is in front of Ponda Adventure by a length. Delgado is still third. Swan Captain is followed by the winner take it all. Head of the stretch, headed for home. Cool Papa Bell, three quarters in 126 and three. Ponda Adventure angles out, trying to keep that perfect record this year intact. Cool Papa Bell, the Hambletonian winner. Ponda Adventure on the outside is challenging. Delgado is next in third. Past the eighth pole they come. Cool Papa Bell has turned away Ponda Adventure for the moment. It's Cool Papa Bell. Ponda Adventure is second. Delgado is third. Cool Papa Bell is the winner. Ponda Adventure was second. It's a photo for third. Delgado and the winner take it all. Then Swan Captain, 153 and one. Here they come. They are up. Good start for Miss Walner Fashion on the inside, just making you look. Then Fashion Schooner is advancing to the outside of her. Eminem's Dream and Bold and Beautiful, the last two. As Fashion Schooner now goes up to challenge Miss Walner Fashion at the front end. Miss Walner Fashion on the inside, Fashion Schooner on the outside as they approach the quarter mile pole. Fashion Schooner now takes over by the quarter in 27 and 1. Miss Walner Fashion is second, and then third comes Just Making You Look. Eminem's Dream is fourth, and the trailer is bold and beautiful. Fashion Schooner leading the way up the back stretch, there by a length and a half. Second is Miss Walner Fashion, and Just Making You Look third. Eminem's Dream five lengths off the lead, racing in fourth, and the trailer is bold and beautiful as they come to the half mile pole. Passing the half in 57 and 2, 30 and 1 for that second quarter. So a bit of a relaxed quarter for Fashion Schooner as she maintains a two length lead onto the far turn. Miss Walner Fashion is second, just making you look as third. Eminem's Dream is another length and a half back in fourth. And then it is Bold and Beautiful who is moving to the outside to try and advance past Eminem's Dream. Fashion Schooner, meanwhile, is in front by two and a half as they put three quarters up in 125 and four. 28 and two that third quarter, Fashion Schooner in front. Just making you look up on the outside, Miss Walner Fashion to the inside, Eminem's Dream, and then the trailer bold and beautiful. Fashion Schooner, plenty of pressure to the inside, Miss Walner Fashion. Here's Miss Walner Fashion and J Fashion Schooner right together. Coming on late is Eminem's Dream, but it's too late to catch Fashion Schooner. Miss Walner Fashion was second, then Eminem's Dream with Just Making You Look and Bold and Beautiful in 152 and 3. Horses approaching the starting gate. Eight of the finest three year old Colt Pacers go into the gate. Forever Boy by the missile. Nighthawk, six feet apart. Atlas Hanover, Gulf Shores, Birthday, and Great Ascending on the outside. The Mike Wolfenberg starting gate swings into the stretch, and here they come for the little brown jug. They're off and pacing on the inside. Forever Boy trying to hold position. By the missile goes to the pylons. Up on the outside as the race around the turn. Go on to the first quarter mark. Now second on the outside and appears to be hung. Down the backside, Atlas Hanover racing fourth in at the pylons. That's David Miller with Nighthawk as the field races over to the first quarter mark. Opening quarter. 27 and 1 into the turn and go to the 3 8 mark on top of the field. It's Forever Boy with the lead by the missile, getting the two hole trip up the inside as they race around the turn. It's Nighthawk now third. 
Racing fifth, down along the pylons is six feet apart as they pass the stand for the first time, coming to the halfway point on top of the field. Showing the way at the halfway station in 55 and 3. It's Forever Boy by the missile right there. Second, setting up the battle in the final half. Racing third on the inside, it's Night Hawk. As the race to the backside in the 5 8 mark up on the outside. Going to the three-quarter station. Racing on the inside, nowhere to go. Six feet apart. Birthday is sent three wide on the outside. Now, Gulf Shores is there, seventh, and trailing the field into the turn. As they race over the three-quarter mark, 124 and one. Midway around the final turn, here comes the battle. Now on the inside, four smart boy with on the outside. It's by the missile. By the missile on the outside, gets to the front. Closing ground, Nighthawk on the outside. By the missile. The battle's on for second and third. By the missile wins the little brown job. 151, one fifth. Beach Glass reaching for racetrack as he's over there in 125 and four. He lit it up 27 and four in that third quarter and he comes into the stretch now and he's got it by five. Back into second is Frozen Hanover, then third inside to Macho Phil and better have my money on the outside from in fourth in deep stretch. Here's Beach Glass coming to the line. He's got it by seven or eight lengths and Beach Glass just turned in a $40,000 training trip in the Simcoe Stakes as he won by seven in 151 and one. Here they come. They are up in the Caesars Trotting Classic. Forbidden Trade and Juju B both showing speed. Juju B is going to go up and get the early lead. Forbidden Trade settling for second. Quattro de Julio away in third. And up on the outside is Loved by the Masses. Loved by the Masses caught a little wide though going on to that turn. Logan Park is racing next as the field now comes to the quarter mile mark. Passing there in 27 seconds. Juju B in front. In the pocket second, that is Forbidden Trade, the defending champion. Quattro de Julio, not wasting any time, now goes to the outside, moves up to take second, and is going to go up and challenge the leader. Next is Loved by the Masses, then Bella Bellini is racing in fifth. On the outside sixth is Logan Park. It's Academic is next. Also caught up wide is Kings County, and then it's Winning Ticket and Kildare King. They hit the half in 56 seconds. The second quarter was 29 seconds. The 6-5 to five favorite, Quattro de Julio, has the lead. Loved by the Masses is up on the outside second. And Juju B now third. Forbidden trade, a length and a half behind that. Up on the outside, Logan Park. Bella Bellini is next in sixth, about six lengths off the lead. Then comes Kings County. It's academic. And the last two are Kildare King and winning ticket. Quattro de Julio leads the way into the stretch. Three quarters, 123 and four. Quattro de Julio is the leader. Juju B is second. Loved by the masses, forbidden trade. Trying to get some room on the inside. Bella Bellini's on the loose here on the outside now. And here comes the mayor, Bella Bellini on the outside, charging up to challenge Quattro de Julio. Forbidden trade is also there, as is Juju B. But it is Bella Bellini, and Bella Bellini is going to beat the boys tonight. Getting up for second is It's Academic, then Forbidden Trade and Quattro de Julio, 151 and 2. And Test of Faith leads for Miller. Coming into the stretch up front by two lengths as she shows her back class to this field and shows her heels to the field too. And it's all Test of Faith pouring it on in deep stretch here. It's Test of Faith. And the only race for her is against the clock. Test of Faith to win the Milton Stakes by two over Michaela, a shooting through Watch Me Now, and Grace Hill, the mile, 148 and one, a stakes record and just a fifth of a second from the track and Canadian record. Joviality up top here, scoots away, trots away by three and a half, four lengths. Her own track record is 151 and three fifths early in the season here at Tioga Downs as they turn to the top of Heartbreak Lane. Less than an eighth to go. They're on their way home in the New York Sire Sticks for three year old trotting fillies. And the only question here is what's the teletimer going to say? Joviality destroys them in one.
51 and two fifths, a new track record, breaking her track record from earlier this year here at Tioga Downs. Joviality wins the New York Sire Stakes final, sponsored by Avarage Farms, three year old trotting fillies. What a sensational filly! Here they come. They are off. And getting away well is Tell Me About It. Sent right to the lead by Michael Oosting. Ali Wag Hanover is into second. From the far outside, it's Desperate Man. Next are Catch the Fire and Bulldog Hanover, the last two Dan Patch winners. Moving on to that first turn, and it is a scramble for the lead. Getting it now is Ali Wag Hanover up on the outside, Desperate Man. They're by the quarter in 25 and 3, a very fast first fraction. Catch the Fire is moving up on the outside of Tell Me About It, who's now back and forth. Bulldog Hanover is also to the outside fifth. It's two behind that to work it on a mystery. Next is Backstreet Shadow, followed by a bucket bet Hanover in eighth. And the trailing two are Rocky Road Hanover, and this is the plan. As they approach the half mile pole, Catch the Fire now takes the lead. But Bulldog Hanover is right there on the outside, second by the half in 53 and two. And Bulldog Hanover, here it is, the Bulldog blitz to the lead. And Bulldog Hanover takes over from Catch the Fire as the field moves on to the far turn. Desperate man third working on a mystery is up on the outside and trying to range up into contention. Following the cover is Backstreet Shadow and then to the inside is Alley Wag Hanover. The next two are a buck of that Hanover and tell me about it and the trailing two are Rocky Road Hanover and this is the plan. Head of the stretch headed for home. Three quarters, 121. Bulldog Hanover off the turn with the lead. How by three lengths. Catch the fire working on a mystery. Down on the inside is Alley Wag Hanover coming to the final an eighth of a mile. It's Bulldog Hanover. The lead is four. Working on a mystery is second. Alley Wag Hanover is third. It's Bulldog Hanover. And once again, it's a marvelous mile for Bulldog Hanover. 146 and three. Bulldog Hanover, the fastest pacer ever, just paced the fastest mile ever at Harris.